What's up guys, Scotty here from the Blue Coconut family and welcome back to another City Skylines tutorial. Today this is going to be slightly different because we're not going to be looking at any in-game things but with the release of the brand new DLC it has brought an absolute ton and torrent of mod uh, errors and uh, loads of people are reporting that their old cities are not loading or when they're actually in-game they're getting a ton of errors similar to one on the screen now. So I'm not alone so you guys aren't alone i had this as well um my tutorial city which you guys kind of have built up with me over the length of all my tutorials i've done um i was struggling to load that and it was only today that i've actually managed to get that to fix um it's a absolute plethora of errors and they each require kind of individually looking at and i know this isn't going to be a fix for all cases um, but this is what fixed it for me and i feel that this is going to be the majority of the issues that you're having so if you use mods then you're going to be probably one of these people having issues if you're not then you're probably going to be okay and you, you can ignore this completely um, but if you are using mods then you're probably going to be using some of the big names out there so let's start off with our big main culprit Traffic Manager Presidential Edition. Now, for some particular reason, and I don't know why, uh, the version that I was using hasn't been updated for several months. And you're probably in the same boat where this edition hasn't updated. Now, they have released a brand new edition, and I'll put the um, link in the description below, which has updated this. But this has caused major issues, and this has caused many problems in cities with people loading. And I've read many comments where it's actually down to... Um, TMPE which has actually broken their city. Uh, worth noting guys is if you have a city that is broken and it's throwing up errors do not save it. Do not save it just close it down you know stop the processes of city skylines. It won't delete your city but if you save it with an error you've got the potential of breaking it further down the line when you actually fix your game so it is very important to do. Now TMPE is a big problem, so I've put a description below. Make sure you disable your old version and unsubscribe from it, and subscribe and enable this new version, and your issues are going to be all resolved. Now, when it comes to another issue of the one on the screen which I showed you earlier, I'll show it again. If you've got this, it means that you have some assets in game that um, have um, old, the old kind of metro or train um, kind of modding thing. I don't. I'm not a modder, I have never created assets in my life, um, but from reading forums and reading the posts, they've changed a lot of the kind of under the hood stuff of how trains and metro stuff work. Now we knew that from the metro overhaul, um, but they've changed it enough that old assets have this error. And if you have these old assets in your world, then it's going to throw up this error. Now, someone has lovingly created a actual workshop item or mod that you can enable, which will actually resolve all the issues and it will actually fix all your old assets. So I'll put that in the description below. Um, that is another absolutely great one. Uh, highly recommend, go give that guy absolute credit. It's brilliant and it saved my city. Um, the last thing you can do is if you are still having issues with your modifications, you're still having errors in your game, uh, someone has created another mod called your I believe it's called the mod compatibility checker absolutely brilliant mod this helped me in my city uh, what it does is it's sort of in game slash not you go into your uh, main menu in your content manager you enable it inside the menu and uh, then you can it gives you like a location of where the report is you copy that put it into a file location it brings up a whole list of uh, the mods and assets well just the mods that you have in your game and it tells you if they are um compatible with your version of City Skylines and they'll give you kind of saying that there may be minor, minor issues or this is a broken mod please disable it and the really helpful thing here is they've actually gone through the effort of if you have a mod which they still think is very useful um, but it's broken it'll actually give you a link of a newer version of it if someone has created a different version what does work so uh, for example there is I had a mod called auto line color which simply just changed the line color of all my uh, transport stuff when I placed them down um, so it also changed it every time I placed down a new line so I didn't have to go through and change the colors now this mod hasn't been working for a while and it's because the, de the developer had never updated it past what you know it was initially so it actually broken and this mod compatibility actually told me that yes it was broken hasn't seen the developer for quite a while but if someone's created a new version here's the link to it 
So it's really good. And I'll throw up, throw up some screenshots on screen of roughly what that looks like. Um, so yeah, those three things are kind of your main culprits. If you've got any other problems, put them in the comment section below. And hopefully with the community which is out there, we can use this video as a way of helping to fix each other's city so we can get back into playing our games. So yeah, if that's been useful for you and it's fixed your city, give this video a massive like. I know there's a lot of people out there who are having similar issues. Um, remember, hit that subscribe button. You can see all my other content. Yeah, I've been Scotty from Blue Token Family. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.